everybody. So we're going to do something a little bit different tonight. I I don't want to call it a rant. Oh, hi, Banks. Hello. Go where you're supposed to go. Uh, I don't want to call it a rant because it's not a rant necessarily. But uh, this is brought to you by the I Am No Angel. I Am No Angel. I think it's I'm No Angel. I'm No Angel campaign that's going on right now uh, about, I don't know, plus size women and being proud about what you are and everything and I guess it's a little too late for me because I haven't given a shit about my plus size status for quite some time but um, I guess just kind of in reference to that I saw uh, a an interesting article I'll give it interesting article on Huffington Post recently where it was these two plus size gals and they ordered a bunch of clothes from various different uh, plus size clothing distributors and uh hold on. sorry the camera's really low tonight so i'm kind of like hello uh because i'm going to be trying on some clothes later and i didn't want to change the setup uh but these two gals they tried on a bunch of clothes that they had ordered and then they showed pictures of them in these dresses that they ordered according to their sizes and measurements and uh and it was comical to say the very least uh if i find the article i will uh post something down here Perhaps here, or maybe over here, I don't know. Uh, something, there will be a link to this article. And and it was funny because it was like, they said rude and crude things about the dress, like, oh, I feel like a sausage and all that crap. But uh, what I found terribly interesting about it was that they were picking out clothes that were going to be comical when they tried them on. Like, I'm sorry, I don't go and buy a full length black leotard because, because I'm a I'm plus size gal. I'm, I'm a queen sized lady and I know that's not gonna look good on me. I mean, you have to kind of understand your body. Nobody looks good in everything, right? I mean, I, I've seen some, some skinny bitches look pretty freaking awful in what they wear before. It happens. Uh, so anyway, so I saw this article and, and it perturbed me because I, as somebody who understands the plight of ordering clothes, uh, and ha not having a body that fits everything that w comes to me, uh, I was perturbed because this is a real issue that uh, exists and they were kind of making light of it and obviously picking things because if I thought it was absurd, these items that they were picking, then surely somebody who was not dealing with these issues would cons would just look at it and be like, well, they weren't really shopping for it. They were just looking to make fun. So anyway. I was a little irritated. So tonight I want to show you a couple of things uh, because the issue is that the number of stores that somebody of a more queenly size uh, can go to and try clothes on before purchasing them is ridiculously small. Uh, of all of the people, of all of the sizes of people that need to try the clothes on, why? <laughs> why would you make them the ones who have to do online ordering? And let me elaborate. Um, uh, Old Navy, which was once, once my refuge because they offered plus size in almost every one of their stores, has since gone online only for the plus size only well actually tall tall and plus size are what you can only buy online you can buy maternity you can buy all the kids sizes you can buy women's and men's you can buy pet stuff at the old navy store but you cannot buy plus size or tall and as it is i end up wearing tall and old navy clothes so i am no i can't be helped in any way at old navy anymore except online uh, granted, I have found that certain clothes from Old Navy fit me no matter what. Like, if I order a certain size at Old Navy, I'm almost 90% certain that it will fit me whenever it arrives. And, but, whatever. Whatever. The process of ordering online and the fact that I have to buy $50 worth of stuff to have free shipping and, and all of that hassle is crap. It's crap. And so, okay, so there was Old Navy. We had Old Navy, gone. So we have Old uh, Lane Bryant or Catherine's, if those 
so happened to float your boat. Catherine's is a little old for me, like what was in fashion, I don't know, 15 years ago, I find at Catherine's. I don't, I don't think I've gone into a Catherine's in many and many a year uh, because it's not my style, which is fine. If you like Catherine's, you go, you go, you go and you be like, whatever. Then there's Lane Bryant and I do enjoy Lane Bryant. They have very professional and slightly young clothes, but not nearly as young as I feel. So then I feel like I tend to like maybe the things at Hot Topic, but at Hot Topic, it's so trendy that you can't, oh, not Hot Topic, excuse me, I wasn't talking about Hot Topic. I was talking about Torrid, which is the plus size version kind of of Hot Topic, it's alternative plus size. Uh, but I find that their stuff is way too short most of the time, whatever. So for me, typically, I have two stores, two stores that I can go to that are for that carry my sizes. Now, granted, uh, Walmart does also carry my size. If you want to shop at Walmart, I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to shop at Walmart. And Target sometimes Target has like three racks of clothes that I can fit into. So it's it's frustrating, okay? But I own that. I own everything about it. I chose a long time ago to not give any shits about my size, about what, I mean, I don't care about my diet. I don't care that I don't exercise. I don't care. I own all of that. And I own that I have to wear these clothes, but I have dollars to spend. And if a dressmaker, if a fashion designer wants my dollars, they're going to have to do something more than give me images on a screen. And frankly, that's all they are willing to do for me at this point. So I will shop where I can get it done. So, so I think that's the end of my rant. However, to illustrate my point, I am going to do some modeling for you of uh, some different things that have been ordered all sight unseen. So first, let me show you. This is actually an Old Navy shirt that was purchased online. I find I have been wearing this all day. This was not planned at all this morning. I just put this on. Okay, so this shirt, actually, if I order a plus size shirt from Old Navy, it doesn't fit. Okay, <laughs> which, is, which is a funny twist to my, to my rant. Almost everything plus size at Old Navy is too short for me. I don't know if I'm long torso or, or if, just if I have a preference for long shirts. So I actually tend to go to the tall end of Old Navy and whatever, whatever. Never mind. That's not important. But uh, long is an issue. Any to any kind of trend. If I like long shirts, excuse me, too much Coke. Not Coke. <laughs> no. Uh, whatever. So plus size clothes tend to be too short in the shirts, which is stupid. <sighs> anyway, I mean, I could go on for days about all the problems that style has and the fact that skinny jeans I would like to find the man who came up with the skinny jeans idea and wring his frickin' neck. Who? Mm, it's been like the last year. I can't find a pair of jeans that are not skinny jeans. And you know what? I don't have I don't have the skinny legs to go inside of the skinny jeans. So would you stop it with the skinny jeans? Can you just give me like a jean? Can you just give me like bring back the wide legs or something? I mean, just some pants. Can we can we just do that? Skinny jeans. What the? What the fray, man? Anyway, so now I'm going to cut this and I will be back wearing something uh, that, oh, so I was talking about this old navy shirt. So this is how, oh, 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 let me back up. Mm, okay, so this is how I choose, you know, to go about my day. I, I, I just like something simple. I just want to be able to wear some clothes. You, you could see that I have a shirt underneath this shirt and that that shirt is a long shirt underneath the shirt that isn't long enough for me. And I don't know, it's not so bad, right? I'm not like a freaking ogre walking around. So surely it wouldn't be that hard to just order some clothes, right? <laughs> and scene. And I'm back. Okay, so. First, I'm going to show you a shirt that I have shown before. This was uh, a shirt that came in a threaded canvas subscription box. Uh, and so you can watch that video 
uh, where I took this out of the box or the video where I talked about the shirt because this was the February subscription, February of 2015 subscription box for Threaded Canvas. Haha, <laughs> that's the one. Um, so this shirt I ordered in a 3X. Now I am not typically a 3X. I am normally an X to a 2X uh, in shirts, especially men's shirts, which can be big. However, I wanted to make sure that I would be able to fit it on my body. Okay, so I ordered a 3X, expecting that it could anywhere from not fit at all, like couldn't squeeze into it, to tent-like. Okay, because that's what I'm kind of talking about here is like that I can't tell uh, whenever you get to these kinds of sizes, like a small, it's pretty standard across the board, a small, I think. Maybe I'm not, maybe maybe I'm completely wrong on that. But feels like whenever you get to these upper ends of the spectrum, there could be anywhere on that spectrum could be in those sizes that you're looking at. So this is the 3X that I ordered. I do have a shirt on underneath this. So if it looks like it fits a little bit better than it does, that is why. Okay, it is on the tent like end of this spectrum. No, do I not wear it? No, I wear it to sleep in. It's perfectly reasonable sleep shirt. However, uh, ghastly big, ghastly big. I would never wear this out in public. Uh, so obviously the 3X doesn't fit. I do have the 2X that they sent me the next month and it does fit a little bit better. It is still too big, but it is a big that I can actually handle. Now. I'm going to remove this shirt and underneath is a comical little number that I got in another subscription box, box that is also a 3X. So as you will note, gigantoid sleeves, gigantoid shirt, All right? Okay, let's just step right here. I'm going to take off this shirt and then you're going to see the other 3X that I got from another subscription box. Okay, so that one was from Threaded Canvas. And then this one <clears throat> was uh, it's a Dungeons and Dragons t-shirt that I got from a Loot Crate. Now Loot Crate, I got two t-shirts from so far in my two subscription boxes and uh, they were both a 3X that fits like this. Okay, it is uh, stupid tight. Like my arms might not be able to have blood going to them Maybe this is what Dungeons and Dragons boys like. I don't know. It looks like shit on me. Oh, it looks like shit. Uh, no, mm -mm. I don't go out in tight clothes like this. I, why would I go out in tight clothes like this? Come on. No, there's no way in God's good green earth that I would be seen in this. Uh, I feel like maybe before I had two babies, I might've been able to, to flaunt something like this, but Mm -mm. No, nope. uh, undershirt material perhaps. It isn't quite as short as some t-shirts tend to be, but again, I would have to want to wear a Dungeons and Dragons t-shirt to really, to fight for this particular number. But mm, no, there's nothing good happening here. <sighs> okay. And let's, um, yeah. <laughs> you see, I'm verklempt. I'm so verklempt about this t-shirt and how ridiculous. So I gave it to the husband, but see, he's got like these short cap sleeves. That's kind of like a girl thing, but we're not going to tell him that. We're just going to let him kind of wear the shirt and see if he, uh, I don't know what I was doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't tell anybody. Don't. Okay. So, uh, I'll be back with another item. I'm back. Okay. So this in my opinion, is the piece de resistance. Now, before I went to preempt this with saying, this was by no means anybody else's fault for... <laughs> okay, so this arrived today. This is a bridesmaid's dress. Now, I like it very much. And, uh, and the picture was great. The problem was, and again, nobody's fault, uh, was that the, this dress was ordered online because because it was offered online and it was cheaper online. And when I tried to find this exact dress in an actual shop, no shop carried any dresses by this maker in my size, even close to my size. The closest one was, I believe, 
12 sizes smaller than I am. Now, I went and saw one in person. That was not my size, obviously. It would not have fit on my arm, but I saw it in person and it was great. And I'm very excited about the dress. However, I had to order according to my measurements. And this is either the website or myself or the fact that my measurements are not kosher with actual sizes because I am two sizes larger on bottom than I am on top, which is not abnormal for somebody who is not a size two. However, this is a bridesmaid's dress. The part of my bra tonight is being played by a lovely turquoise number. You will be seeing quite a bit of. <sighs> Brace yourselves. All right, so this is the top of my of my gown that I will be wearing after a great deal of alterations are made. I mean, as you can see, <laughs> I could fit another person up in here. It's uh, hello. Uh, I there's it's it's overwhelming now. It is not that I don't have boobs. Like, they're in here somewhere, I swear. I, I see them, but I don't know where they, f where they are right now. Okay. I don't think I have a stool, but uh, if I step back here enough. See, isn't this lovely? Isn't that great? Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Oh, oh, it's falling down. Okay. You see where this is hitting? This is... This isn't great. This is, I mean, okay, so I love this. It's got like pockets and I feel all jazzy and you will note, it's it's a short dress. Maybe you can't see. Uh, let's try to push you down a little bit. Are you gonna fall? Is my camera gonna fall? Mm, nope, that's not the right direction. Okay, let's see, I'll handheld you. All right, so if you look down, all the way down. It is a short dress and I added extra length as you can see because it is not supposed to be this short whenever I stand straight up, which you can't. Oh, God. oh look at it. It's stunning on me. Ugh. Okay. Uh, such awesome camera work. I know why you watch is because you know how good this camera work stuff is going to be. But I mean, so I mean, this just, it fits, it hits in such a strange place for me. It is not, by any stretch of the imagination, the most flattering spot for me to have, like, the waistline hit, right? I mean, like, there's an empire, which goes up here, which would be like this, which I could totally do. I could totally rock that. Or there is, like, a natural waistline that I think I could do as well. This is a weird place to be. Uh, I'm gonna, in a few minutes, I'm gonna have uh, my significant man person. He's gonna tighten me up like you would in like a bridal shop and kind of see where the alterations are. But I'm not even gonna share that with you because I think that that would diminish what I'm trying to say here. And that is ordering online is a ridiculous process for almost everybody. And I think this, like the bridesmaid's dress thing, I don't think that that is singular for a plus size girl. I think the bridesmaids dresses across the board are known for being horribly sized, you know, and three sizes off and everything else. But that just illustrates the point that ordering online is a horrible, horrible process. And why do we make any group of people do that? Mm -hmm. Now, I would like to finish by saying I am completely aware that this fat girl problem is also a first world problem. Obviously, I am lucky to have the right to be fat and to be able to find clothes that fit me and everything else. But it's a whole another bag of worms that I don't think half the people in the world realize. Half the, okay, half the people in the world don't give any shits. But most people don't understand how much harder it is to find clothes in the first place. Like how much harder it is to fit anything. Uh, I think I'm going to do one more dress. And this is the dress that I found, which is, I'm not comparing. It's just a dress that I found that I think I look super cute in. And I just want to show you what it's like whenever I can find a dress that I can try on in a store that does fit me. 
how things can fit, okay? Okay? All right, I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. Oh, hi. Okay, so this is it. This is the last one. This is the dress that I found that I do like and that does fit me because I was able to try it on in a store. Let's see if I can back it up just a little bit. I feel adorable. Uh, you couldn't see the whole thing. It's all right. It's not doing a whole lot for me. I don't have any shoes on or anything, but see, like, this is how things fit. Look, I have boobs. There they are. I found them. Still wearing the same bra. Nothing changed. But anyway, that's the end of my tirade. Uh, and it's true that I am no angel, and I'm okay with that. Uh, is there anything else I need to say? I don't think so. Uh, comment down below if you live in the St. Louis area and know some excellent alterations, ladies, because I'm going to need some. And... I guess, I guess that's it. Uh, I also would love, like, if anybody has any suggestions as to other places that a queen-size lady can shop, I'm open to suggestions, even if they're online, because I love a place that understands how, uh, how a more voluptuous body does work and how to fit it and things of that nature. Um, subscribe if you want to see more of my ridiculous videos that I don't really, uh, take any time to prepare for. And I guess comment below if you have any questions. Otherwise, peace out. I'll catch you on the flip side.